Hello, today I have something cool. This universal PCB board that can be used for many electronic projects. So let's start. Here I have six completely different projects with different integrated circuits or microcontrollers. I have this 555 timer circuit. I have this seven segment counter. When I press this push button, display will show next digit. And this is reset button. Here I have CD4017 uh, decade counter and 555 timer circuit. I can change speed with these 10k pots. And here is game. With some cutting I managed to install 80 mega 328 microcontroller. So this is basically Arduino project. Here I have OLED display and here is five-way switch. Now I can play this game. All these projects are built using same PCB board with this one. And this board is hero of this video. Let's call it universal PCB. Later in this uh, later in video I will show you how easy it is to use this board and most important how fast I can make project with it. Believe me, it is it is much faster than using perf board. I will also show you where you can buy these boards. Okay, I'm not big fan of perf board. Circuits looks messy and they can be very confusing. It is hard to find connections. Also, I wanted to make something that look nicer and something that will allow me to make simple projects much faster. So I designed this board. I designed it and I used PCB way site to order my PCBs. I always use PCB way because they are very fast and they have great quality community and service and many other interesting features. Stay tuned because later I will show you how you can order these PCBs from PCB way. I will try to explain why I like this pr product. Yes, you are right. This is not completely universal PCB. You can't make big projects with it. But most of my projects use one or two integrated circuits or microcontrollers. So this is perfect board for it. Let's take a deeper look on board. This part is used for integrated circuits and microcontrollers. Like this. Each pin have ground and VCC near. For example, this is pin 1, here is ground and here is VCC. Or if I take this pin, here is ground and here is VCC. So I can very quickly connect pin to ground or to VCC. Here is example. These lines are not isolated, so I can solder directly to them. So this board is also great for SMD components. Here you can see a bunch of SMD LEDs and here is resistor. This part is small breadboard. It can be used like any other breadboard. I use the, this part for another integrated circuit for seven segment displays, for OLED, battery holder and so on. It can be used for any electronic components. Here are also ground and VCC rails. So if I need connect some components on breadboard to ground, I can do it easily like for example here. In this part I can use uh, potentiometers, push buttons, voltage regulators and so on. Here is place where you can place an additional components. I mostly use this region for switches, capacitors, power supply and so on. There are also many other parts that can help for some projects. 
When I received first order of these boards and when I started to make first project, it was so fun to plan placement of components and I finished my first project very fast. So I decided to share this project with others. If you like these boards, please subscribe to stay informed about this project and to see future projects with these boards. Also free feel to check my other videos. It, it means a lot to me. Okay, now I will explain how to get these boards. And later I will show you how fast we can make simple project with it. You can get these boards on two ways. I will sell packs of five PCB boards. A link will be in the description of this video. Feel free to check it. If you don't want buy this board from me or uh, boards on Tindy are sold, you can buy them directly from PCBWay site. You will need to register it. Please uh, use my referral link from description for registration. After registration, you will find link of my shared project in description of this video. Just click add to cart and here you can change color of your PCBs and number of your PCBs. And that's it. Okay, now uh, let's see how to use and let's see how to make something. I will make this 555 timer project and here is schematic. Okay, let's make simple 555 timer. I will uh, use these top pins and this 555 timer chip. But before I will check schematic. Here I can see that pins 2 and uh, 6 are connected. So I will connect them here under 555 timer. using this little wire. Ok, now I can install 555 timer and solder it. Next I will uh, connect one to ground. Okay, it's connected, fast and simple. I will connect pin 4 and 8 to VCC using same method. Now I will connect a capacitor from pin 2 to ground. To 10K resistor, one will be connected from VCC to pin 7. Here it is. And another will be connected from pin 6 to pin 7. From pin 5 to ground I will connect this SMD capacitor. Just uh, to show you how easy it is to use SMD components with this board. And last is output. From pin 3 I will connect this resistor to that unused pin and from that resistor I will connect LED 
to ground. Here I have these ground and VCC rails so I can try my project and it is working. But I don't want to use this external battery so I will put this battery holder here. I will put this wire here you will see later why and this switch I will connect connect that little wire to this VCC rail and now I need to only connect uh, only to connect from plus on battery to switch I will use this wire and here it is simple 555 timer project it's working I will also add this SMD LED from pin 3 to VCC so when a red LED is not glowing it will glow uh, a green will glow 